with me everywhere, actually, because it's, I just love to share my story. (laughs) I always have it on me, which is awesome. Oh, that's awesome. You should hold it up and show everybody because I'm sure they'll recognize that photo once, um, when they see that. So yeah, I don't know when did we met. I don't even know when we met Erica, where we met, but I feel like I've known you forever. And uh, she just oozes energy and positivity and has just such incredible stories with the Juice Plus on our different programs. And I thought, what a great person to have kick off the year as our first guest speaker while we are now launching this Shred Pet program. So I thought that she would be able to share that and inspire you guys of the amazing ways that this program has um, truly changed her life. So on that note, I will let you take it away. I'm so excited. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I don't know where I met you either or how, but I feel the same way. I feel like I've known you for a long time. And I just, I love hearing um, the Canadian accents. It makes me so happy. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, where are you from, Erica? What state? I have to say something. I'm like, I love hearing you guys talk. So I'll show you, let's see if I can, you know, pretty, pretty close. Did you get that? What's that? I said I'm from Seattle. Oh, I didn't hear that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not yeah. Too Seattle. Yeah. So here, can you hear me? Okay, and everything. Okay, cool. So this is my my before and after photo. Can y'all see that? Yep. So, um, gosh, my my. My Transform 30 story started when Transform 30 first came out, but my Juice Plus story started a little bit before that, actually. My mother-in-law, she's an acupuncturist, she started buying Juice Plus for me and shipping it to my house when I was pregnant with my first son, and he's five now. And so that was such a blessing, but I didn't really know what I had when I was taking it. I just kind of was like, fine, I guess I'll take it if I have to, and was taking it here and there, and I wasn't consistent about it, Um, but then I really started taking it every day when my mother and I started talking about the benefits of Juice Plus in pregnancy, and so I had an amazing first pregnancy. I was never sick. I felt great all the time. I had so much energy right up until the end, and then um, when I had my son, it was just it was just awesome. He's a healthy baby boy. And I was so grateful to have juice plus in my system, but I was still eating really, really horribly like McDonald's cheeseburgers every night, horribly, uh, fast food consistently, just gosh, just a fast food junkie and a processed food junkie. I loved my cheese with an absolute passion. Like if you ever have anyone who's like, I cannot go without the dairy, like send them my way and I'll tell them that they can because I loved, loved, loved my cheese. And so after, after I had my son, my health started declining quite quickly because of all the fast food. And I stopped taking my juice plus because I really thought it was more of like a prenatal sort of thing. And so, gosh, all of my unhealthy eating habits, and I used to do a quad shot venti vanilla latte every single morning from Starbucks and with regular milk, everything, it was just extra syrups. It was horrible. And I, you guys, my eating habits were so bad. I I laugh about it now, but it, they really truly were bad. And all of this really started resulting in daily chronic migraines for me. Every day I would wake up with a migraine and I would go to bed with one too. And this was for like over two months. I was in a lot of pain and just felt horrible. I went to a doctor. I was like, hey, can you help me? And she actually looked at me and she said, I'm sorry, I can't really do anything to help you, but here's some blood pressure lowering medication and some anti-nausea medication. And um, hopefully that'll help. And so I was very, very discouraged with that. I cried in her office thinking there's something more that you can do for me. There's got to be something else you can do for me besides just prescribing me this medication. And I went home that night and it was about that time. Like, I think it was like a couple months. 
some, somewhere around that time period. I don't remember exactly when, because this is a few years ago now. My friend Tammy invited me to a regional with Dr. Mitra Ray. And that's when I first heard Mitra really talk about Transform 30. And I sat in that room and I wasn't, um, I think I was just like brand newly a rep too, because I was in Juice Plus kind of right before we went to the Transform 30 programs and everything. And so I was sitting in that room thinking and looking around and I'm surrounded by all of these happy, healthy, beautiful, different. I, I'm sharing Juice Plus with people, but I'm still eating McDonald's every night. Like this is not going to work out for me if I want to continue sharing Juice Plus sort of thing. And so I... I really started hearing Transform 30 and Mitra was talking about it and I was like, okay, this sounds like something I can do. You know, like this sounds feasible to me. Until she got to the no gluten and the no dairy part. At that point in time, I was like, hell no, there's no way, no way at all <laughs> that I'm going to give up my my dairy. Like I love cheese. Like my aunt, she's a nutritionist. She would tell me, I think you're allergic to cheese. And I would literally look at her and start crying. This is literal, not figurative. I would start crying and say, don't lie to me. Please don't lie to me. I'm not allergic to cheese. And so, <laughs> but then we just said a few things, right? She said like, you can do anything for 30 days. And I thought, okay, all right, that, that's a good point. I can do anything for 30 days. And she said it takes about 30 days to create that habit. So that really kind of got me, I wouldn't say excited about doing the Transform 30 program, but it got me to the point of like, okay, I think I can do this. I think I, think I can be successful at this. So with the help of Tammy, who is my buddy in this, um, I did Transform 30. And it was awesome. My migraines were gone within three weeks. Gone. No migraines at all. I had so much energy. It was totally life-changing just after those first 30 days for me. And to realize that I didn't need that caffeine and I just felt, gosh, really good without it. I just felt really good without all of this crappy food in my diet. And in that first month, I also lost about 12 pounds the inches were really the crazy thing that I lost. Like I lost an entire inch around my neck. I lost, um, I think five inches around my hips and butt, three inches around my waist, um, just inches everywhere. And so from then on, I, I stuck with Transform 30, not perfectly throughout the years, but you know, I would do like, I think I did like three or four Transform 30 strictly after that. And then I ended up losing 70 pounds pounds and it was pretty effortless honestly it was just eating clean and treating my body right it wasn't like this strict regimen you guys all know about transform 30 and everything so it's like it was just such a freeing feeling to have the ease of being able to, to do this and I think that's why I really love sharing transform 30 now with people is because it's not an easy challenge per se for some people, but it's simple, basic eating healthy guidelines. It's not like cut your calories down. It's not all this crazy stuff. It's just treat your body with respect and eat healthy and clean. And so, you know, after my weight loss and everything, I kept all my weight off until um, I got pregnant, right? And then I've gained weight, which is good and important. And it's all healthy pregnancy weight, which I'm so happy about. And that's kind of where like my story goes from Transform 30 into Shred 10. And just watching, I first of all love watching what's happening in our business right now. It is so freaking exciting to see everything going on with Shred 10 and how it's just evolving and becoming this whole brand new thing. So I started doing Shred 10 when I was pregnant and I, it's, it's something else like cutting out all of that caffeine, right? Because my pregnancy, I've still done a little bit of caffeine here and there, but really um, cutting out the caffeine for those 10 straight days fully has really changed a lot too. And so that's what's really important with me now is that since I'm pregnant, I can do the shred. And that to me speaks 
volumes about what we have with our business and our products and everything that someone like that my son does it with me my five-year-old does the shred with me I do the shred and it's a little different version because I'm eating a lot more I would say you know than than other people that may do the shred but overall like the shred has totally changed how um how I view food even more like it it just keeps my healthy eating habits keep getting better. And I think just because, because I was such a fast food addict and such a, um, just like, I, I had honestly no concept of health when I got started in Juice Plus, <laughs> like no concept of, of health whatsoever. Uh, no one had talked to me about, you know, I was all a calories in, calories out type of girl. And so to have the tools to be able to really know how to eat and how to eat clean and how to support my body. And the fact is, is that I'm supporting my next son now for a much better life later on too, genetically wise, like he is going to grow up <laughs> so much better than I did because I'll be feeding him better and he's getting better nutrition while in the womb too. So Transform 30, you know, to say that it's changed my life and Shred 10, oh my gosh. I cannot even begin to explain to you guys how much this means to me and how much I've seen my friends and family's lives change too throughout the shred and the transform 30. It's just absolutely amazing. I feel totally different. I look totally different. It changed my confidence. It's changed my business. It's changed absolutely everything in my life. And I'm, I'm just very grateful. So that's, that's a little bit about my story. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. And uh, yeah, the photos. I don't know if I've ever told you this, Erica. Um, I saw your photos. And yes. um, I met you after, like at your after. But I, I don't know if I had seen the photos yet or didn't recognize you or whatever. And I remember looking at you and I think we're at the Seattle boot camp. And I'm like, who's this young kid that's at the boot camp? Like, I had no idea. And then I found out who you were, and I'm like, and she has a kid? What? Like, I seriously thought you were some teenager running around the event. I'm like, why is she here? <laughs> yeah, so it was, and then I put two and two together. You were that girl, and the poster girl. I was like, wow, what a story. So, yeah, I would say that everyone that our entire team has spoken to has seen your photo. We share that photo all the time. So it's just so inspiring. So awesome. So awesome. So maybe you could share, how do you feel about sharing the um, T30 with uh, whoever it is? Can somebody mute themselves? There's just some crazy in the background. Um, how do you go about sharing um, the T30, Erica? Erica? Because I'm sure it'd be so easy for you to say, look at my photo, and you just want to like morph all the information because you've had such a life-changing experience. So how do you go about sharing it? Well, it's, it's honestly a little bit different now like I used to just like like when I would go shopping that would be the first word out of my mouth like oh wow what are you shopping for today I'm like oh well I lost 70 pounds so that's what I'm shopping for new <laughs> wardrobe right like I really need to because it's true like all of my clothes didn't fit all of them so that would be like how I used to bring it up and then I'd show them my picture and I'd get a lot of like, oh, wow, wow, that's amazing, great job. And I would get clients that way too. But now I, I'm having to look at it really differently because one, because of what our company is, right? We have to be safe and not just say we're weight loss product because we're not, we're a get healthy product. And that's what I really share now when I'm out and about, I'm like, you know, yeah, I lost the 70 pounds, which is great. But what I really gained was knowledge on my health. And I gained a healthier lifestyle. I gained so much more than the weight loss. Like the weight loss, I look great and I, I feel great. But really, it's about being healthy and really supporting our bodies. And so that's what I share most of the time when I'm out now, I, I share the health aspect of Transform 30 and Shred 10. And I would say, you know, like, just like basic conversations, you know, in the grocery store, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing great. How about you? You know, oh, wow, I'm doing great too. You know, like everybody's sick right now, you know, cause it's true. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know about Canada, but Washington is having like the flu epidemic of the year sort of thing over here. 
And we're the only ones that I feel like have not gotten sick. Like we're like, oh yeah, we're great. You know, I got like a little cold um, a couple weeks ago, but other than that, you know, we're feeling great. So that's kind of like what I'm sharing now. It's just the health aspects of Transform 30 and Juice Plus and Tread 10 and helping people understand that it's not about the weight loss, even though I have a weight loss story. And so people that that's their assumption when, when they talk to me, they're like, oh my gosh, it must be so easy for you to get clients because of your story. And I'm like, well, yes and no. It's also, it's also just about the health. And, and I have to actually be more careful about my, my weight loss story with people because they assume, they just assume automatically that they're going to lose weight, which it's all about getting our bodies healthy. So does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Sorry guys, apparently it's my line that's all this static. I don't know why. Oh, maybe I'll move further back. Is that any better? Maybe. Um, and how do you support your clients that are doing the Shred 10? Do you have a secret Facebook group or what are you doing? Yeah, so we have a we have a customer page for our um like I have a customer page that my team does for just like Juice Plus reps and then we also have a customer page for Shred 10 and also I use a lot of Messenger, you know, like I I'll do like a a daily message to like a group of people that are doing Shred 10, but then I do daily individual messages too. Like, "Hey girl, how are you doing today?" You know, like what are you going to have like, what's your meal plan look like? Because I've noticed if I just say, you know, like simple things like, hey, how are you doing today? They, they'll they be like, great. And then a few days later, they're like, I'm totally failing. And I'm like, okay, hold on. You said you were doing great, you know? And so I really have to be very specific with people I found and just saying like, hey, what are your meals today? What did those look like? Can I help you plan a meal today? And I'm also, um, I created a 30-day meal plan from my Pinterest board because I have like a huge Pinterest board with like hundreds of gluten-free, dairy-free recipes. And that one I have to tweak a little bit because they're all more so transformed 30 recipes versus, you know, the stricter shred 10. But they, they mostly fall in line with Shred 10 too. So I actually went through and wrote down all of my favorite recipes that my family uses on a daily basis. And I, I typed them all out and I put like little notes next to them saying like, oh, I ended up subbing, you know, like, I don't know. I can't think of an example right now, but I ended up subbing this many eggs for a banana instead you know, stuff like that to where it's more customized to what I do every day. And then that way they can really see like what an average day actually looks like, especially for a family, because I think that's where a lot of people get hung up is they don't know what meals to cook. So I, I have like whole meal plan for them. Um, I'm doing a go box right now. I created like this really cool box idea where I am, um, Essentially, I bought like a shaker bottle, a water bottle, and um, a tape measure, you know, like a, a fabric tape measure. And I'm printing out the Shred 10 guide, my meal plan, and, um, you know, any other materials I may find that they might find helpful. And I'm putting that in a box for like my new clients in January. So that's been a lot of fun and people are really enjoying that. They're like, oh, this is so cool. Cause they like, I'm like, here's some really simple things that you, you can use to get started, you know, and it's just, it's an incentive and it's also helpful. It gives more value. I feel like, so that's some of the things I'm doing, but daily contact, triple daily contact three times a day is, I feel like really, really important with shred 10. Well, that's a great idea, Erica. Are you charging for that walk that you're doing? No, no, that's just something I'm doing, but only for like my full Shred 10 clients, like the people that are ordering the four boxes of shakes in the trio, right? So it's not like if they just sign up for the trio, they don't, they don't get the go box. It's only for the people that are like hardcore, like I'm ready to take on the Shred 10 and do the full four months transformation, that sort of thing. 
Great. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to mute my line and I'm going to let you guys open it up and ask for any questions. And then Nicole, are you still with us? Can you uh, close this off? This static is awful. Anyone have questions? Unmute yourself. <laughs> Quiet night tonight. You guys, it is 9 p.m. where you are. I can um, understand that. I have a question, Erica. Did you ever at any point have um, days where you really craved a lot of food, or did you just um, have an easy time with the uh, two shakes a day and healthy meal? Like, what was your transition time in getting really good with the trip or 30 days? Gosh, I, you know, like I still will crave bad food if I put it in my body, right? So like over the holidays, I was not perfect on the shred 10 or anything like that. I tried, um, but it did not, it did not work out the way I wanted it to. And I had way more sugar than I should have, which is why I got a cold too, right? And so when I, you know, when I'm on the shred right now, when I started on January 2nd, that was a little harder for me because I was really craving the sugar and I was trying to figure out like, okay, what things can I have that still have sugar in it? That's natural sugar, right? So right now I'm like, I love Satsuma oranges, right? Because that's a natural form of sugar. It's not like the processed sugar. And so I've been eating like an orange a day and that usually will take care of my cravings or like the juice plus gummies really help with my sugar cravings. Um, yes, an extra shake definitely helps with cravings as well. I made a frosty shake the other night, you know, just like chocolate and like um, <laughs> cashew milk and ice. And I just like blended it all up. It was amazing. So I, you know, like I still struggle with cravings, but I don't struggle when that stuff is out of my body, mm -hmm. right? Like once it's gone, it's gone. And I don't really crave it. Sometimes the mental part of it, I think is really, really hard for me and everyone else because food is so much a part of our culture and a part of like, you know, like it's, it's so normal to have cookies at Christmas time. Like it's so normal to do that. It's so normal for families to have Friday night pizza and to take that out of our, like, like our, our culture, I think is the hardest part for people for them to change their actual perception on food and that's where you know like I'm not perfect but it gets better every year and that's the cool thing and it gets better with every shred like before when I would shred I would just do you know like when I would get back and I'd be like okay finally I can have like an almond milk latte again right and I would have my almond milk latte but every time I would have it I'd add less vanilla each time I would do the shred so I would be like one time it'd be the normal amount of, um, hey, one time I'd do like the normal amount of vanilla in my latte. And then the next time I did the shred, I did only two pumps of vanilla in my latte. And then when I did the shred after that, it's only one pump of vanilla because the sugar is so intense for me after I'm done with the shred that my body's like, whoa, what the heck is this? And now I can officially say I do not like Starbucks lattes anymore. Like I had one the other day and I was like, not the other day, but before I shredded and I was like, okay, this is not good anymore. I actually just dislike this now. So it gets better and better, but yeah. Did that answer your question? Awesome self. Yes, that was a great answer. Thank you. Of course. It's nice to see you. I'm like, I like seeing people that I know. I'm like, oh, hey guys. <laughs> Okay, well, um, I will wrap it up then. Uh, thank you so much, Erica, for being on our call. It's such a pleasure um, seeing a familiar transformer in our circle of uh, uh, Team Shining Star. Um, as I will close off, I was just listening to Erica's story and um, going, you guys heard how this, this program changed her life. And we have the maker of the program coming to Toronto next week. So I dare you guys to write down how many people you want to transform their lives. 
And what I mean by that is that there are so many people that would be hungry for this information. And we have the maker of the program coming to be live and doing free events. So I really challenge you guys to think about how many people that you can invite out for our Thursday night free event in Collingwood, our free event in Markham, and get your voice out. Get your excitement out. People are going to come to the event, not because you sent them a Facebook invite. Do you know how many people get those every single day and they're just like, next, next, next? You have to wake people up today. Everyone is on the same rat race. They're all busy. And so if you don't um, grab their attention by being playful, by being silly, by, by just getting their attention with your voice, they're not going to show up. So either get on the phone, send them a, um, a Facebook messenger. Um, Erica, how do you get people out to Mitra? What do you do? Do you use your voice? Do you oh drag them by, <laughs> by chain? Yes, absolutely. Like, I mean, me, myself, I had to be practically dragged to my first, you know, meeting with Mitra and everything. I was like, oh, my God, fine. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. But if you guys have Mitra coming there, like, yeah, like, click on that little recording in Messenger and say, oh, my gosh, you will not believe who's coming to town. I'm so excited because it is amazing to hear Mitra talk, mainly because I, I love the Juice Plus culture. We're not just all about Juice Plus. Like, we are. Like, we talk about Juice Plus, but it's like a medical lecture, like, thrown into juice plus two it's not just people getting this pitch it's actual like valuable amazing information i've learned so much from mitra it's crazy sauce i am forever blessed to be able to go to her events here <laughs> uh you know like on the regular we want her to speak here more because we're like no <laughs> but it's amazing yeah use your voice tell them how excited you are just because she is incredible to hear i just freaking love her awesome okay on that note you have until next the thursday friday to uh send out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds don't get discouraged it truly is a numbers game so i always like to say one out of ten people will maybe respond and um but that one person could be an erica so don't give up until you get a yes have a great night everyone thanks again erica of course, thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, my friends in Canada. <laughs> Bye.